Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to paint metals my way. Like this one I started here. This is a metallic red. So I used to paint this lead belcher. most silver and to make the color red I use transparent red from Vallejo and a drop of yellow so I will show you how to do it so I have I will add later this little drop of black to my lead belcher to do the shadows so a uh, base coat of lead belcher in the, the panel I want to, to paint I'm doing this one panel one, one panel at a time because I want to show you how I do it this is my way and by no, this doesn't mean it's the correct one it's just my way so I will paint a few more panels just to give the time to, to dry this process can take a while so enjoy it right now I have done three coats of blood belcher three thin coats of blood belcher and I will mix my black from Venus workshop to make the shadows like this I want a darker color So the shadows will be like here. I know because that's what I've done in the other side. And here is another small shadow. Here. Around this panel. Here. And here. So the pigment has to be moved this way to go just where I want it to be. This shadow is a little bit lighter than the others, so I will not glaze much more than this. I mix the colors and some water to some glazing consistency as we see here is almost transparent this is what I find to be better for me and That's the darker one, darker shadow, right here. And I guess I'm seeing another place here. So, I'm using these shadows to make some details pop, create volumes. That's it, right there. And because painting with metals and just putting the met put metal in uh, over the miniature is boring. I don't like to do that. So here a bit darker. Okay. This this one as well. 
Okay, now I will paint this one from this other panel. Leaving a small line of lighter color. This, 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 this. Yeah, a bit more. So now I'm starting to see some volumes being created by the color. Shadows. Yeah. Here we go. And here. So I might need some darker shadows. So I will add a little bit of black and. I will change the brush to the final one. This is a five slash zero brush from Van Gogh. I like this detail brushes. Now we have our shadows, let's build up some highlights with Stormost Silver again from War Games Workshop and uh, a little bit but Belcher just a little bit and Again, that's what I'm looking for here, as you can see, glaze. And let's do the highlights. I starting by doing the edge highlights. Just in the spot where the light touches the body and try to blend it to the blending here. Blend with the shadows. That's why I use glazing, it's better, easier, and I have more control over it than to. Uh, other types of other techniques like uh, stippling I enjoy doing this this way but it works stippling also works well it's just a matter of taste over here we got the panel highlight small right here around this piece a reflection, some reflection here just to add some details some something to look at Keep going, 
que tá aí, tem esse entire figure if you want to is like that now let's make the second part of our highlights the brightest spots will be here in this panel line so a second glaze is added here here around this this I don't know the name of it so who cares and here to blend again now here Now, with the final brush, some, and some more highlights, and again try to blend all the highlights with the shadows and the mid tones to get a more re realistic feeling, more realistic feel on the figure and on the metals yes. so looks good I'm going to use my transparent red from Alfalejo here You can airbrush it, but since I am using brushes the, since the beginning of it, I will continue with my brush. Try to give the coats with some consistency. We want even coats. So first I do it to one side left to right leaving no puddles or whatsoever painting all of the areas that I work I've worked in here I will add a second one and Now in the other direction, like this. Sometimes it's better to give three coats and ensure this the is perfect than 
just two and looks bad so I have done two coats forgot this part I guess I will need the third one I think I do so let it dry usually these paints dry fast as you know so let's wait so now that red is dry you can see that I made a mistake here and I have to redo this panel so to make this red that looks like magenta real red more strong red will do with just a, a quick quick layer of transparent yellow from Vallejo as you can see here a thin layer very 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 thin it will make the the magenta or red pop a little bit and I I think it will that's the correct color for the, the Iron Man armor I, now I can really paint everything because it's yellow That's it. Now I got a real metallic Iron Man. It's drying. So 